Riding through the suburbs on an everyday bike, but this is no everyday cyclist. Instead, he's been dubbed the push bike bandit and is wanted for five pedal powered bank robberies in 2011. He arrives on two wheels and keeps himself covered. He's cool, calm and collected. But once inside, the bike riding bandit isn't playing any games. Armed with a pistol and his trusty bike, three violent hold-ups were committed across Sydney between May and June. St Ives, St Leonard's and Edgecliff. Each time he followed the same MO, the same bike, the same gun. No shots were fired and sometimes the robbery failed. But each time the target was a Westpac bank. Detective Superintendent Luke Moore is the head of the New South Wales robbery squad. Two years after this suspect rode away, Operation Ready is still in pursuit. Why do you think he's using a push bike? One theory is that uh, in these busy shopping centres, uh, it's easier access. He can get up right to the doors of the bank on the push bike, get away uh, quicker than he can on foot. And I suppose to some extent, it's not something that people would be expecting uh, for an armed robber to turn up on a push bike. So uh, it's an element of surprise. He's quite calm, uh, he's in control, uh, he doesn't use more violence than, than he needs to, although it is very violent, um, and uh, he's in and out very quickly. He's, uh, he's, he is brazen, no doubt about it. At the first armed hold-up in St Ives, he makes an effort to hide his identity. Police have since recovered this hat and scarf and they've been tested for DNA. Through a variety of um, forensic examinations, uh, we know that this same, the same offender has committed all of those armed robberies. A day after the third hold-up, critical evidence is found a suburb away. After those first three armed robberies, uh, uh, or after the third one at Edgecliff, the following day we recovered a bike at, uh, in, a, in a backyard of a house in nearby Paddington, and we've identified as that as being the bike that was used on those first three armed robberies. Was there anything unique about the bike that was recovered? Once we recovered that bike and we started doing some investigations into that, uh, we found that it was a Jamis brand, J-A-M-I-S brand push bike. The push bike was originally a sky blue, dark blue colour, but somebody has actually uh, ground the paintwork off, off the frame and it's, it's been brought back to bare metal. Uh, and somebody has wound uh, electrical tape around various parts of the frame. I would say that anybody who has seen this bike uh, would, would recognise the bike because there, there is no other like it in, in terms of uh, what the frame looks like. With key forensic evidence in the hands of Operation Ready, the offences stopped. Yet four months later, on November 11, the push bike bandit reappears on a new red bike. This time, He's at Bondi Junction, taking great care with his wheels. When he casually jumps the queue, a woman intervenes. With pistol drawn, the suspect and customers all flee. In the chaos, no cash is taken. What happens next is different to the first round of hold-ups. This time, he rides to another bank some 13 kilometres away. Do you think it's possible that he's ridden the bike from one location to the other? Well, he's certainly been on the bike before and after Bondi Junction and before and after Five Dock. Uh, it's about an hour and a half. Now, it's, uh, it's physically possible that he's actually ridden the bike from, um, from Bondi Junction to Five Dock. We know that he didn't use the trains. So, uh, he's either got there on the bike or some other means, but uh, yeah, that's, it is possible. By 2.20 p.m., the push bike bandit has pedalled across town to here in Five Dock. He's wearing the same clothes, he's riding the same bike, and he's about to rob the same bank. Pushing his new red bike inside the Five Dock branch, this time he's more successful. He gets away with a substantial amount of cash. As in Bondi Junction earlier that day, the man is wearing a white baseball cap, blue denim jeans, a blue shirt, and covers his face with a white handkerchief. He was last seen riding away down Great North Road. This was the last stop on his cycling crime spree. And whilst he may have rolled away with the cash, he left something behind, his image. 
I know that there are people out there who would know this person, who will look at that footage, and they will know who that person is, and they will be able to identify him. Now, obviously, all of us have families. Uh, if it was your family who was involved in any of these armed robberies, and they're terrifying offences, if it was your family, you would want that person brought to justice, and that's what I would appeal to anybody who may know this person to uh, contact us on Crime Stoppers. Police believe the person seen here on CCTV can help with their investigation.